Welcome back. Today I'm doing a clothing haul of Abercrombie and Fitch's new fitness clothing brand called YPB or Your Personal Best. Let's try on some clothes. Honestly, my biggest surprise with YPB is that it didn't happen earlier. It seems like this would be such a good market for them. A lot of like high school boys who need gym clothes that are just like standard and pretty neutral. And you know, they've finally done it. Abercrombie & Fitch has gone through a lot of changes for the better over the past couple of years. And I think that this is one of those changes for the better. I think that they are going to really find a niche with this. And hopefully as they get more comfortable in the fitness space, they're just gonna get a little bit more vibrant. Maybe that's the word I should use. Hopefully a little bit more curious about some not standard cookie cutter clothes. So, okay, let, let's do this. First piece of clothing that we have is the YPB full zip Hoodie. I actually really liked this. It was a very standard hoodie. I thought it fit really well. It's a nice thicker material. Nothing stood out to me as being wrong with this hoodie, but nothing really stood out to me as being like super great about it either. So I could really take or leave this. If you need a good sweatshirt and you're already making an order, might as well add it in there. Moving on to the five inch unlined training shorts. Y'all know I love a five inch short. I'll say it every single video, but I tried virtually all the shorts basically everything in their YPB catalog, I ordered for this clothing haul. And I will say, we'll get to them in a couple of pieces, but I like their online shorts way more than their lined shorts. I don't know what it is, the liner just isn't my favorite. So these online shorts, I really enjoy. I also like uh, the texture of them in terms of what the gradient is of the fabric. I think they're just like a standard gym short, right? They're not super expensive. I don't think that they'll fall apart after like three uses. So it's not high end by any means, but it's also not like gym shark low quality, right? I will say they were a little puffy around my thighs. I wish that they were a little bit narrower, a little bit better fitted, but for this price point, I think that it's pretty good. So these are the same shorts, but they are in onyx and these did have the liner. And yeah, there were like some weird manufacturing things about this one. Like if you look really, really closely at the waistband, you could see like some of the sewing and the stitching was a little like clumped somewhere. And I think that just goes to show that the manufacturing is not super high quality. It's fine. I don't think it's going to fall apart but it's not like a Lululemon or a Vori or an Outdoor Voices where you can tell that the quality is really, really high in the production of the clothes. I will say one other thing about Abercrombie & Fitch is that we know that this company has sales all the time. So whereas a lot of companies will not have store-wide sales, Abercrombie & Fitch, I mean, you go during Memorial Day and you're gonna get the best sale of your life, right? So you, you wait for any of those sales and you're gonna be able to get these gym clothes for incredibly cheap. So their ticket price is actually a little bit higher than it should be. These should not be $60 shorts. That being said, if you're getting 50% off, then they're $30 shorts and that's great, right? They're definitely worth more than $30. I'd say they're like right around 45 with the quality that they give. So just something to keep in mind. You may not want to buy these like without them being on sale, but their sales all the time. Moving on to the training shorts in evergreen, is that right? Deep evergreen, yep, deep evergreen. I liked these, I thought they were a nice color, but again, I didn't love the liner for these, and I just wish that they were a little bit narrower. That's it. Okay, YPB training jogger. I'm a big jogger snob, and these didn't really hold up for me. You know, in a jogger, I'm hoping for a material that is not going to like sway in the wind, you know? And these absolutely were such a thin material that it didn't have a lot of integrity in the shape of the pant. That sounds aggressive or annoying, but <laughs> I just wish that the material was a little bit of a higher quality and it is a very, very fine and thin material. So that's just something to keep in mind. They're $80, again, they're gonna be like 50% off. So 40 bucks for a jogger, that's great. They're not like offensive by any means. They're just not the best jogger that I've ever tried. I probably wouldn't wear them, so. You know, that being said, I did try them in sand as well, and I liked this color a little bit more uh, than the black. I think that it's, you know, a little bit more unique. You could change the color on top a little bit more. The black jogger, there are just so many options that you could pick a better material and put together joggers. So I'd say stay away from the black for your personal best, but the sand, 
Maybe go for it. Okay, the training tanks. $38 for a tank top. Really not bad, especially when you take into account that this could be on sale. I also liked the texture, the kind of camo or wash effect that they put into this tank top. I think it's really unique. I liked that a lot. I also liked the fit. I thought it was a very standard Abercrombie & Fitch size small fit. And that's something to keep in mind with all of these clothes. I thought that the fit was really spot on. And that is the good thing about Abercrombie & Fitch. If you've been wearing their clothes before, you pretty much know what sizing you should be doing. Makes it much easier to order online. This was probably my favorite item. I think that the material is really good for when you are sweating, obviously. So when you're going to the gym and you know that you're gonna be pretty sweaty, this is a great material for that. That being said, the quality of the material is very comparable to a Nike. And that is not the best quality. It pills pretty easily. Uh, you're not gonna get that many uses from it. So yes, the price point is a little bit lower, but that is reflected in the quality of the material that they're using. You know, for this one, it was okay. I think I was really hoping that YPB would take a few more chances with their clothing, you know, do some more bright colors or do some cuts that aren't necessarily so standard. And I guess it's Abercrombie and Fish, so what can I really expect? But they really have had such a change in their leadership that I was hoping that they were willing to kind of like just push it a little bit further than like, oh, we're the cool kids, so we're not gonna like push the envelope at all, right? This tank was just pretty boring. I do love, I, I couldn't tell this when I got it originally, but I do love that it's actually two different colors. Um, the front is a little bit lighter, the back is a little bit darker. So like that was good, but I wish that they were different colors, like brighter colors that were front and back different. And finally we have the training graphic tee. So this is the same material that the tank tops are made out of. It's 90% polyester and 10% elastane. Again, a pretty nice material to go to the gym with. Uh, it's gonna deal well with sweat, but it's not gonna hold up super well. So just something to keep in mind. I think the color was really nice. I think that the fit was really good, uh, but nothing special about this t-shirt for me. So Abercrombie & Fitch has 725 stores worldwide, which makes their products super accessible to people. They've got tons of sales, which make these products pretty cheap. But that being said, they are considered fast fashion, right? And fast fashion, our big problems are that the clothes wear out super quickly and you have to buy new ones, not good for the environment. And generally these fast fashion companies don't have the most ethical practices when it comes to their manufacturing. And that is definitely true of Abercrombie & Fitch. Diving a little bit deeper, Ethical Consumer actually gave Abercrombie & Fitch some really, really bad scores when it comes to the environment, political policies, animals. And it's really hard to track these labor and supply chain issues but I always say when a company isn't super transparent about their supply chain, that generally is not a good sign. And I do wish with this new leadership of Abercrombie & Fitch that this was a bigger priority on their agenda is just making sure that yes, obviously your clothes are cheaper and that means that production can't be super expensive, I guess. But it'd be so great if you gave your consumers an idea of where these clothes are being made and that it wasn't the result of child labor and that it was providing people a livable wage in their country. And that's not always super clear. One last thing, y'all probably know about Mike Jeffries, who was the former CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch. He's the one who's like, oh, we only hire attractive people here. And like, he was very homophobic and kind of a trash human, honestly. Luckily, he is not working for Abercrombie & Fitch anymore. It is Fran Horowitz, who's the new CEO, and she's done an absolutely unbelievable job turning this company around. I'm actually really excited for Abercrombie & Fitch because I do think that it's an important company. It's an important niche because it is providing clothes that make people feel confident at a price point that is not absolutely outrageous. And I actually think that that's more important than we give it credit for. Anecdotally, I know some people who work in corporate Abercrombie now, and they've said that over the past couple of years, the culture there has completely changed and that Fran has completely turned it around. I'm really, really happy to see that because whew, Abercrombie in the news for a while was really, really, really tough. But like I said, I'm really excited for your personal best. I think this can be a really great option for them. And I hope that in the future, they're kind of willing to get out of that like cookie cutter fitness clothes and branch out into like, how do we make ourselves unique in the fitness space? How do we like take some risks here? be vibrant, be new, because I think that will really 
do such good things for the company. So that's what I'm hoping in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below with what brand you would like for me to do a clothing haul with next. And I will see you next time.